what's up? You know it's been a while since I made a video. I ain't going nowhere, man. Been real busy with the boxing channel. Been busy doing other stuff, man. You know, all, you know, behind the scenes, other things out here. But uh, I'm trying to get back at it, man. Need some more weapons for some more content. So y'all expect something new soon. So stay tuned for that. But I want to make a video about flying with your firearm and uh i am going to florida lord willing next weekend and it'll be my first time flying or attempting to fly with a firearm so uh, i see a lot of people on youtube doing it um just make sure you follow your state laws whatever state you're going to make sure that your firearm is allowed you don't want to get jammed up in the wrong place you know but this is my first attempt so a few weeks back I said, okay, I don't want to, you know, I want to be a little inexpensive, at least for the first try. So I bought this. Um, this is a generic case. This is like $20, man. Bought it off of eBay. And I liked it. You know, it's nice. It, this is my Smith & Wesson, by the way. This is my Shield 9 Plus. 9 Shield Plus. Um, this is my... This is going to be my summer gun, my summer and uh, and spring gun. So it serves two purposes for me, spring and summer. Okay. And those of y'all not familiar with the Shield 9 Plus, this is the updated, you know, uh, mutated version of the regular M&P 9 Shield. But this one comes with... Two magazines, double stack. One holds 10 rounds, and then the other one holds 13. So you're rolling with some serious firepower and something so thin and light. You know, y'all weren't watching my channel. Y'all know I got a Bursa BP9. It is thin, just like this. The thing is, the Bursa is a single stack. It only holds eight rounds, and they weigh about the same. So why, why not carry something that prints and is just as light as the Bursa? But it holds more, uh, has a higher magazine capacity. So I went with the Shield 9 Plus. So what I did was I bought this, and this is nothing, nothing crazy. It's got a lock here. What I was wanted to do was avoid having to buy padlocks on those, on those other cases and all of that, right? And I would like to fly with my ammo in the box that it came in. So I opened it, and this is pretty neat. It's nice. But I, I had a problem. I don't know if y'all can realize what the problem is. Now, this is just without the magazine. This is without the magazine. And let me let me put the mag in, matter of fact. So I'm putting the 10 rounder back in the shield. And as you can see, the case isn't that big. Because if I want to carry an empty mag here, and where am I? going to fit my ammo i don't know if i can put the ammo in the in the luggage bag i don't really want to do that i think you're supposed to keep everything in the same container okay i've read it right that's what you're supposed to do that's what i feel comfortable doing anyway keeping the ammo and the gun in the same exact box and even um breaking the gun up breaking it apart if you if you feel a little bit more comfortable doing that too put a chamber flag in there or a cable lock through there either one that's what i intend to do as well but this thing is rather small man rather small and this does not fit the bill for even this small gun okay so this would be okay for for my Keltec. you know my Keltec p32 this would be good in there small it's a little tinier but even the Keltec, i would have to not bring any extra ammo i have to probably keep uh get one of those little plastic cases and put the ammo right there because it's a 32 now the 32 with a little plastic case will do good all right even i could fit an extra magazine right here in the corner i would be good if i had like a plastic ammo holder right here 32 is fine the shield not at all shield small but look at the shield it covers the keltec okay so what was my solution? Should I just leave the gun home? Well, 
I, I figured, man, you know what? I got to get something bigger. And that's what I did. So what did I get? And what would I use this for? I guess I can use this if, you know, uh, I'm bringing this extra fire on with me or something like that. Just something. If I wanted to bring the Keltec with me, I can use this for the Keltec. But I won't be using this until I need it for like a, like I said, a spare gun. Then I would use it. Okay, pretty nice though, solid. So what I did was, when I bought me one of these, a Pelican, a Volt by Pelican. This one is the model V100. Okay, I bought this one a few days ago. Uh, said I need something bigger. Went to my local gun store, saw this in there, and they wanted 70 bucks and some change for this same case, y'all. Went online, seen it for $39.99, man. Brand new. So, awesome, man. Solid case. Um, this is what I will be using to fly with, Lord willing. Crush proof, dust proof, weather resistant. Pistol ammo case. Um, yeah, the two two holes here for two padlocks or combination lock, whatever key lock, combination lock. Some people use the combo lock, some people use the keys. Um, I think this here is, uh, I think this is a depressurizer. I think I'm not sure exactly what that is. I forgot. I read on it, but I don't exactly remember. But let's open it up, man. I like this thing. Press the button there. Then press that. Much more, much more spacious. Way more space, man. You know, you have the, the foam here. You know, you can lift this up. You can even put another fire on. You can put more firearms in here if you wanted to. You can put some more guns under there. You can put magazines into there. The ammo can go under there. It's it's deep enough for for that. But for my intended purposes, man, I'm just going to use it like this, you know. And you see how much more room I got? Much more room for the gun itself, the spare mag, and the ammo. This is what I wanted. I wanted it to be in there just like that. The holster can go. You can just toss your holster inside. Um, yeah, your luggage is not a real big deal with the holster, but um, you got to keep the ammo and the guns together. Magazines empty. Um, I, I, I'd like to fly with the magazines out the gun, so I probably would take this mag out, put the cable lock through here, and then just use the ammo. Uh, put, put the ammo in here until I get to my destination. But let's close it up and look at it. looked a little hesitant at first but i'm gonna show you probably why went on with no problem with the case with the uh the ammo case there and the gun now something that i that i could do as well i can take this out this foam i can remove this if i wanted to but it's not a big deal it's not hurting the box not crushing the box all that's, all that's happening is the foam is depressing into the box and it's protecting the ammo as well, as well as the gun. I'm pleased with it. Just got to get me two locks now. So that's all it's doing. It's depressing it. I love this thing. I would already, I ain't even, didn't even use it yet. The Pelican V100. I highly recommend this, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. This is Rebel 9. I love y'all. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.